Good morning. You can see those low clouds hanging over the valley this morning. Very uh, quiet, but very low. So we know that there's a lot of moisture in the air and we may end up with a little bit of rain yet today. So another day of this where we've got the cloud cover and the potential for a few passing showers. That's especially the case this morning. As we progress through the day, it will gradually get a little better and a little better for the valley, especially from west to east. Here's a look at our radar right now. We've got some rain showers currently making their way through the valley. First uh, over into Minnesota, we're seeing some rain showers around uh, the Marshall County area, Roseau down toward uh, Bagley, maybe seeing some rain showers shortly, Bemidji you, you as well, more on the way, and the Faustin area. And this is going to continue dropping to the south and east. And then over to the west, the Devil's Lake area too, also getting some rain going on there. And um, this will continue to make its way to the south and east as well. Fargo kind of in a lull right now, same thing in Grand Forks. But all of this, again, moving to the southeast. So we're going to see some of this swinging through, and it may impact your morning commute this morning uh, in the valley. It's very light. It's widely scattered to isolated, so not everybody's going to get hit by some rain, but we all do have those clouds in much of the valley this morning. The one area where we may see a little more sunshine to start is over in the James River Valley, but uh, otherwise things are looking mostly cloudy here for the start of our day today here in the valley and over into Minnesota. Checking out the radar across the country, we've got more storms down along the coast in Louisiana there and then stretching up into Alabama as well and also some rain along the Kansas and Oklahoma state line there pretty much out west things are looking quiet for the moment but you could see that storm system making its way onto the Pacific coast there so here's a look at our conditions right now here in the valley we've got some 40s 42 in Bemidji 45 in Detroit Lakes and 46 in Fergus Falls Fargo's at 49 at 48 in the Grand Forks area. So not bad. Temperatures are all above the 30s at this point. So that's good. And the wind is a bit brisk still. We've got that 17 mile per hour speed in Bemidji. 16 in Fargo, 12, or in Grand Forks rather, 12 in Fargo. This is coming out of the northwest in one gust in the Langdon area to 24 miles per hour this morning. Checking out our visibility, we are keeping an eye on places where we have the rain showers going on or the wind eases up a little bit. That's where we might see some fog develop. Bemidji up to Thief River Falls and Cavalier reporting four miles, five in Detroit Lakes. So this morning, some cloud cover and again, that chance for an isolated shower are sweeping through, especially the case into the east and the northeast for today. This is noon at that point, 50s across the valley. So just kind of a gloomy day for a lot of us. And then that chance for some rain up around Bedette, Lake of the Woods, Red Lake area as well. By five o'clock, you could see that clearing line continues to progress eastward and eight o'clock. Most of us in the clear and enjoying that sun for the last hour or so that it's out uh, and a pretty sunset likely for tonight. Temperatures only in the 50s to some low 60s today. Tomorrow morning starting off clear, quiet temperatures in the 40s. By the time we get to 8 a.m. we'll be in the 50s and we continue that climb through the day back into temperatures. More of us would like to see uh, some 70s in, on the way for many parts of the valley. There's that rainbow again. This was near the Hill Pillsbury. Hillsbury area in North Dakota. This is sent to us from Kelsey. We had a lot of opportunities to catch some rainbows with uh, this weekend with some sunshine and intermittent rain and thunder showers. And we may see more of that coming up toward that Thursday and into Friday time frame, but really it's looking pretty good as far as temperatures are concerned coming up in the forecast this weekend. Not bad. Temperatures back into the 80s. So some nice warm weather ahead of us here for the rest of the week. Today is just going to be kind of the the gloomy day of the next seven. Thank you, Lisa. Get the fresh taste of summer right on your dinner plate. We've got some delicious, healthy summer recipes coming up this morning. We'll check in with the Valley Today's Christy Larson coming up next.